So the research that I presented today looks at um, the oligarchs' uh, networks of connections with uh, members of parliament in the Ukrainian national legislature um, across time. So I consider the legislature um, from 2014 until 2019 under uh, President Petro Poroshenko, and then the legislature under uh, President Zelensky from 2019 until the present day. I use um, a network strategy, a measurement strategy that allows me to identify the hidden networks of interpersonal connections between oligarchs and uh, members of parliament. I look at the structural properties of these networks um, and analyze their effects. Um, on the defense of um, oligarch interests. And finally, I look at the effects that Russia's full-scale invasion has had on the networks of um, influence uh, in the Verkhovna Rada. So one of the main uh, findings of my research is that um, oligarchs promote their uh, loyal clients to the position of legislators, and this practice is a rather persistent one. Um, I find that about 22% of uh, members of parliament in the current convocation are either directly or indirectly linked to oligarchs or are oligarchs themselves. And this figure stood at 24% uh, for the previous convocation. The striking thing about this finding is that um, oligarchs essentially got the same level of representation in parliament, even though um, we saw a complete overhaul of the institute overhaul of the institution in 2019, uh, when about 80% of uh, members of parliament enter politics for, for the first time. Um, when it comes to how effective these networks are at defending their oligarchs' uh, interests, we see mixed level of uh, success and mixed um, uh, levels of cohesion. And then finally, Russia's full-scale invasion has had a rather negative effect on these oligarchic networks in the Verkhovna Rada, leading to a decrease in